Jay Leo Love, we're just about a week away from his big fight against Juan Simon, headlining the Showbox card up in Washington. Man, how you feeling? Man? You been itching to get back in the ring? Man, uh, I mean, it's been a long time now, six months. Six months goes by fast when you enjoy yourself, doing the things that you love, but I had to sit out, you know what I'm saying, watch all these big fights come up and me not be able to fight. So, I mean, I could, I'm, I'm wait, uh, patiently waiting, and, you know, and here it is, I'm anxious to get in now. December 6th, we're going to be ready to rock. Uh, Lamont Simon is the guy, so we're ready. How important was it to get back in this year before the year was up? I mean, um, it didn't really matter as long as I was getting back in. I wanted it in November, you know, uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we got December, so, I mean, I wanted to fight. The quickest, the quickest, the quickest time I could, I would do it. You know, you're fighting the veteran in there. What do you think about Simon as a fighter and what's going to be the key to coming out with the victory? I mean, um, he's a tough guy. I mean, I've seen him in there with a lot of guys, Arthur Abraham. Uh, Triple G. I mean, he's a veteran and he's a fighter. You can't count anyone out. You got to give him respect because they're getting in there. I know he's been inactive for a while, but I've been active, inactive for a while as well. I'm young. I mean, I don't need no tuna fight. I'm, I've been doing this shit since I was a kid, man. So, um, I mean, I'm ready to rock. You know what I mean? Uh, he's the victory. Do what Jet Leon does best. And that's how I think a guy and beat him. You know what I'm saying? Be first, take control, and do what I do. Adjust. I adjust to whatever it is he does. And, and we go and work off what we do. That's all it is. I'm not worried about what he does. I'm not worried about what he Let him worry about what I do. You look in great shape. You have been out for six months. I'm sure you haven't had a lack of work in this gym. How have you been keeping yourself busy this last few I months? I mean, I've been preparing the guys. I mean, I've been in the gym. Uh, I prepared the guys for, for the September fight um, on Floyd's uh, Canelo card. So I've always been in the gym. I never really took a time out. So I've been in here working, sparring, running the mountains, all the, all the same like I, like I wasn't suspended. So at the end of the day, I mean, this is what I love. I'm not going to stop doing it for a suspension. Okay. Since that last fight, you know, you had the suspension, you had the fight, a lot of people were critiquing the decision. What do you take, you know, you've had six months to kind of think about all of it. What do you take from it? What did you learn? What do you think back on that fight? And, um, you know, how do you You know what? Back? God needed me to slow down. He was pushing me fast, and I was doing great, you know what I mean? Um, but he needed me to slow down and appreciate a lot of things. Because sometimes I was getting careless, not boxing, outside of boxing. You know what I mean? He just needed me to slow down. It just sucked to happen the way it did, but at the end of the day, God puts us to things for a reason. Um, I mean, you learn a lot. It was a humbling experience, definitely. I mean, I slowed down. I know it's. I know I, I, I've got the hunger back that I needed because fighting. I was just fighting. I was enjoying myself. I mean, I was living a life. I mean, come on, look how I'm around, like 24/7. I mean. So, I, did, I just needed to humble myself, and now I got it. So looking back at that fight, is there anything you feel that you need to do different? Anything that you're, uh, that you're doing differently as far as training? Or is it just more, like you said, just getting that hunger again? Just getting the hunger back. That's all. I'm young, man. I love what I do. And I, and, I, and I see that when you can't do it, you know, how big of a toll it takes on you. Because this is something I love to do. And I'm, I'm only 26 years old. I mean, I've been doing it for a while, but I love, I love this game so much. And I dedicated my life to this. So, I mean, to be at, not be able to do what you love, it really affects you in a big way. So, um, I mean, I, I'm taking full advantage of it now. Okay. I'm sure after this fight, you're going to enjoy the holidays. But uh, after this fight, what do you think are your goals that you'll be looking forward to accomplishing in 2014? Coming right back, man. I mean, like I said, I'm young. I don't need no breaks. You know what I mean? If we, if we get this guy out of here, you know, nothing to take away from the guy. Like, I'm not looking past him. But, uh, if I get this guy out of here, I want to come right back in February. You know what I'm saying? I want to keep rolling. Keep the ball rolling like we was, like we were doing. Like I said, I don't take no breaks in this. Oh, this whole six months suspension, I've been in here. You guys been in here, in and out, you know what I'm saying, popped in. I've been here. You know what I mean? So this is what I do. You know what? You seem like you're still the same happy-go-lucky guy we've seen the last few years. Did anything change just from, you never really had that type of adversity, you know, with the suspension like you talked about, the trouble making weight, you have personal problems, you know, with your brother and everything. Has anything changed? Personally, you still feel like you're the same as you were saying. I think I grew up. I grew up. You know what I mean. Uh, I grew up a little bit, a little bit more. You know what I mean. Uh, just think about a lot of things, man. I mean, life. Period. My life. How blessed I am to be where I am right now. I mean, it's, it's guys. They're coming here from all across the world trying to get in my spot. 
to be in my shoes. And here I am, I need to appreciate it because if they could have it, I know they would, so. You know, like you were mentioning, you've been at all these big events. I've seen you there. People come up to you. How have the fans been up when they see you at the Mayweather car and all these different shows that you're at? What do they say to you? What do they say to you about the fight? And, I mean, you know, uh, you know they, uh, a fan is a fan, uh, no doubt. You know what I mean? I, I, and, and without this, without the fans, this sport wouldn't be what it is today. I mean, regardless, they show me love. You know what I mean? You get, you have your people that have whatever they have, their own opinions about me or how I act or what I've done or things like that. But I mean, I have some real true, true fans out there that stick by my side, is gonna ride with me, just send me letters and you know what I mean, just send me support, tweets and whatever. You know what I mean? Posting pictures on their Instagram of me. I mean, I appreciate stuff like that, and that's what that's what just keeps me focused on doing what I love. December 6th, what are the fans going to see from Jay Leon Love on Jay, Showbox? Jay Leon rocking and rolling, doing what I do best, and that's banging, banging, fighting, whatever it is. Y'all see me do it, so that's what I do. For your Latino fans, and book some of the other messages. Yeah, you know, my other kid, little 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 kid, little